Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my 5 best energy efficient space heaters for this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and experience, and I try to list them based on factors like price, quality, durability, and more. If you want to see the prices and find out more information about these products, please check the links in the description below. Okay so let's get started with the video. The fifth product on our list, Atomy Smart Wi-Fi Ceramic Heater. The 1500 watt Atomy Tower Space Heater is ideal for folks who prefer to control the warmth in a room via an app. This efficient electric space heater has three power settings, a thermostat, a timer, and standard safety features. In testing, it heated our 156 square foot test room quickly, raising the temperature 5 degrees Fahrenheit in just 17 minutes. We like the convenience of operating the unit from its touch panel or from our smartphone via the Atomy app. We downloaded the app, and it walked us through the setup process. Users must have a Wi-Fi home network to control the heater with the app. We could adjust the desired temperature in 1 degree Fahrenheit increments or select high, medium, or eco settings. There's also a countdown timer with 1 hour increments, and we were able to set daily and weekly schedules for turning the heater on and off. The only downside to the Atomy is that lengthy schedules can't be programmed from the touch screen, that must be done from the app. This is a safer space heater than some because the outer case remains cool to the touch. The Atomy shut off immediately when we tipped it over and sent an alert to our smartphone. In addition, we could use the app to sync the Atomy heater with our Alexa system and then use voice controls, such as, Alexa, turn off the heater. Though operation isn't completely silent, we found the sound of the fan to be minimal. If this is your first time on this channel, smash the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more videos like this. The fourth product on our list, DeLonga Mica Panel Heater. Mycothermic heaters use a combination of convection and infrared heating to bring warmth to the room. During testing, this 1500 watt DeLonga model, set on high, raised the temperature in our 156 square foot room by 5 full degrees Fahrenheit in 18 minutes. It has a narrow panel design that produces radiant heat from the front of the heater while the sides and back remain cool. This compact, slim design is also space-saving, and the unit was pretty quiet while running. The included caster wheels were easy to attach via hand-twisted knobs on the bottom, no tools necessary. This heater can also be mounted on a wall but will require drywall anchors, which are not included. By simply twisting the control dials on the side of the heater, we could adjust the heat level and fan speed. It turned off immediately when we tipped it over. Our only concern is that the front panel does become hot to the touch, so we would not recommend it for families with small children unless it's mounted out of reach on a wall. The third product on our list. New Air Portable Oil Filled Radiator Space Heater. The nice thing about oil-filled space heaters is that once they heat up, they can radiate warmth for hours, similar to the way old-school radiators work. This New Air model, which features oil-filled channels and has no fan, proved itself quite capable in testing and was completely silent to boot. While it weighs in at over 17 pounds, it comes with easy roll caster wheels, so we had no trouble moving it from one room to another. We tested it in our 156 square foot room because it's rated at 1500 watts, but it took nearly 40 minutes, on high, to raise the room's temperature by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. We felt that was due to the heater being completely radiant, no fan to disperse the hot air. But once it warmed up, it continued to radiate gentle heat continuously. There are 5 temperature settings in addition to 5 timer settings, ranging from 2 hours to 10 hours. It can be controlled from the panel on the front or from the remote. The heater shut off when we tipped it over, but it still took about 15 minutes to cool down enough to touch it safely, and that is its only real downside. The new air gets quite hot to the touch, it's a radiator, after all, so it's not suitable for use around small children. The second product on our list, Maxhenor Electric Fireplace Heater. Most space heaters don't do much for ambience, but the Maxhenor Electric Fireplace lights things up with delightful faux flames, so we enjoyed both the ambience of the heater and its cozy warmth. While it's a 1500 watt heater, it took almost 30 minutes on high to raise the temperature in our 156 square foot test room by 5 full degrees Fahrenheit. We assumed some of the wattage was being used to create the dancing flames, which are the focal point of this unit. We tested a 30 inch model, but wider models, up to 60 inches, are available. We could control the heater from a touch panel along the bottom edge, but using the included remote control was simpler. 
We could choose from several flame colors, including blues and greens, but we preferred the red-orange hues that look most like a real fire. This fireplace heater has an important caveat, it's designed to be surface mounted on a wall, set on the floor, or recessed in the wall itself. However, if users purchase this heater to recess in a wall, be aware that it must still be plugged into an outlet. This means the user will need to have an outlet installed in the stud space, requiring an electrician or drill a hole in the wall for the 6-foot cord to exit and plug in. Extension cords should not be used with space heaters due to increased fire risk. The glass screen remains cool to the touch, and heat exits through a panel near the top, making this space heater suitable for a home with small children, as long as the upper heat vent is above their reach. It also features a sleep timer. Finally, Heat Storm HS1500 PHX Infrared Space Heater. Flexibility is a great feature in a space heater, and the Heat Storm Infrared Space Heater has it since it can be mounted on a wall or sat on a surface. This unit has 1,500 watts of heating power, so we tested it in the same 156 square foot room. Since it boasts smart capabilities, we downloaded the Smart Life app and synced the heater with our Wi-Fi and smartphone. From there, we could see the room's existing temperature and turn the space heater on. It took just 18 minutes for the heat storm to increase the temperature in the room by 5 degrees Fahrenheit. We found it to be pretty quiet, emitting a soft hum from its fan, but it wasn't an annoying noise. This model can be hung on a wall, or a pair of two included plastic feet can be attached to the bottom to make it suitable for use on a table or floor. We found the plastic feet simple to connect, and they kept the heater level and stable. The unit also has tip-over protection for safety. Unfortunately, we weren't big fans of the mounting setup. The mounting holes on the back side are 13.75 inches apart, which is too short a distance to mount to wall studs, which are 16 inches apart. Only one screw can be inserted in a stud, while the other must be inserted in drywall with an anchor bolt. The heat storm only weighs 9 pounds, so it's probably okay to mount it to drywall, but we would have preferred to mount it to two studs for extra stability. In addition to being Wi-Fi capable, the heat storm comes with a remote, and a timer is accessible from the app or the remote. The app also allowed us to set a programming schedule for the heater. We appreciated being able to adjust the temperature from a touch screen on the front of the heater, and overall, we enjoyed the versatility of the unit. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If this video helpful to you please don't forget to subscribe.